Hey guys, what's up? I haven't put out a video for a little while, so I figured I'd give you a recap of how our Monday night went uh, this week. So, me and Jace, uh, we've been fishing these Monday nighters. Sometimes we'll have three, but the weight ain't enough. You know, we got one good one here a while back. I'll uh, drop a picture of it right here. And then the next week, I can't remember, you know, we, we had some fish, but not enough. And this week, uh, we had went to a place this past week, practice fishing. And come upon a place that we caught several fish, and we ended up catching a fish that weighed 3 pounds, 21 ounces. So, we put the fish back, and was like, yeah, we'll, we'll come back and see if this fish is here in our Monday night tournament. So, game plan, Jace's game plan, he wanted to go to that spot first, start fishing, working our way up, and we wanted to fish it at the same time we, we did there in practice because that fish might just have pulled up right, you know, at that particular time to feed. So, we fished, worked our way down the bank, caught a couple of short fish, uh, got down there too, and about the second, third pitch on this, I hooked into a pretty good fish, got it in. Lo and behold, it has the same pink mark on the side of it where it had like a sore, and it's the same fish. I mean, the shape and everything, you can tell by looking at it, and you can tell by the pictures of when we caught it earlier this week two uh it was the exact same fish so that one at weigh-in actually weighed three three twenty five so we gained a little weight this week i guess over the last three or four days whatever kept fishing throughout the night jace ends up boating a 15 inch large mouth so we put it in the live well and I almost forgot to tell you this part one fish that Jace caught, I ran back there with the net, and right as it was coming right at the boat, the fish jumped up in the air, and I stuck the net out under the fish. His bait goes flying out of the fish's mouth, and it goes down in the water in the net, and I pulled the net up, and he, between them, he was like, oh, no, and I pulled it up, and he's, oh, yeah. So it was pretty awesome that that actually happened the way it did. And I almost forgot to put that in here. Once you know that part, it was a pretty cool moment. We caught several other short fish apiece, and I ended up catching another uh, largemouth that was, um, I think, maybe 16 inches or something. So we finally get back to weigh in. I've got somebody helping me get my boat in and out because, you know, my son's fishing with me. It takes twice as much time, all that, and they want to get the weigh-in, you know, over with, and, and thankfully we've got help at our tournaments. Uh, it's church tournament for missions on Monday nights here on Lake Cameron, so thankfully we got people that help out. Had a guy get my truck, get me. We were like one of the last ones to weigh your fish in, and we got third place. Jace was pretty excited, it, you know, it's his first tournament that he was actually, uh, you know, able to money in with me. Uh, we've been close several times. We fished them last year. I just wasn't on much and, you know, wasn't on much a couple of times this year. The more we've been going out, you know, the better he's getting, the more patient he's getting. He usually sits down, eats snacks, takes breaks, you know, all that kind of stuff. But... I'm just really thrilled, you know, to have that father-son moment. You know, nobody can ever take that away, that memory. Something I've done all my life, fishing. Huge part of my life, obviously, you know. So, and I've got tons of pictures of whenever I caught fish when I was younger, growing up in albums and all kind of stuff. You know, I didn't fish tournaments uh, when I was younger, growing up. I just went fishing. You know, here, there, whatever. My dad didn't actually fish tournaments. He didn't didn't fish a whole lot anyway, but he didn't fish any tournaments. I got into that later on in life. 
you know, now last year me and Jace fished four and that was enough to get into the classic and we didn't end up getting in the money. And this year we missed the first two, had uh, some things I had to do to my boat and just a lot of things going on, but we fished five or six of them now maybe. And, you know, for us to, to money, you know, in the tournament like that together, uh, it's just very, very special for me. Um, a lot of stiff competition. A lot of boats out there that are fishing this tournament are two adult men, you know, and some of them are a father or son type deal. Um, but to be able to place third out of 24 boats, beat some guys that are two teen, you know, two adult males in a boat and be able to money with my son. I mean, it, words can't describe it. Um, told him let's keep the envelope let's write the you know envelope we got our money in let's write the date on it uh write the tournament and all kinds of stuff about it and you can keep this in a keepsake you know box or folder or whatever forever as the first tournament nine years old that you ever moneyed in was with your dad uh, he's pretty sentimental about stuff so i'm pretty sure that'll mean something to him someday to be able to keep that so it was uh, it was really awesome, really rewarding. You know, it tests your patience a lot of times. You know, in these tournaments, if you know what I mean. He's learned a lot, done a lot better. He's learned how to get his bait loose on his own. He's learned how to work his baits, you know, on his own a lot more the more we go out. So, very proud of him. He does a very good job of helping old dad running back and forth getting stuff out hooking the boat up everything you know he's he, he's really come a long way in the short time that we've came out he's he's really good with the net i tell him you know wait 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 you know on me to bring it to the net don't try to jab at it and you know he'll knock it off so and, and he's real athletic so i think that kind of plays a part in it you know he runs up there gets the net down there and holds it just like he's supposed to he just holds it right to water let me bring the fish in you know uh, he does a really good job, you know, at that and does a good job at everything. I mean, for nine years old, he's, he's doing a really good job. And I, I can see that, you know, eventually, you know, one day as he learns more and progresses more and, you know, I do too as an angler, you know, we always keep learning, but, uh, I can tell one day that he, he's going to make a really good fisherman and really good fishing partner. And I really look forward to those things, you know, as he gets older, me and him fishing more tournaments together and just going out and having fun together and spending time together on the lake. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's very rewarding, but that's how our Monday night went. appreciate y'all wanting to know how the tournament's been going and how me and Jace do watching the videos all the way through really helps my watch time and exposure on YouTube can't wait till I get to that monetization part so you know you guys watching the videos all the way through helps my you know watch time and, and what YouTube looks for to push these videos out to other people I don't get a lot of footage of us you know out fishing I uh, really don't want to give up you know my spots for one but for another it's only a four hour tournament it's pretty hectic uh i do have a gopro but i had a problem with getting it linked up to my phone i couldn't ever get it linked up it's an older one i got a newer phone the app said something was not working right to be able to do it i do need the mounts i need the mounts for my boat and everything but uh i've been really hectic uh lifestyle lately real busy been trying to remodel an apartment and several other things um, appreciate all of you all that go out and get our merch we did add uh, canvas portraits and they're portraits that i actually took that we have a company that's going to put those on canvas uh, as you order them they're made to order so check those out on our merch site if you don't care go to diehardanglers.com merch tabs at the bottom um, i don't know if you guys realize this or not you know but it, it takes a lot 
to keep diehard anglers up and going even before we launch you know shipping out prize packages just keeping the dot com name keeping it up you know the waiting list up on a server there are a lot of things that i had to capitalize on when i launched this so that i didn't have to worry about other people capitalizing on it also had to get uh, several newsletter type things secure the name on those all that kind of stuff get those all lined up for for later on i don't send you all newsletters i don't bombard people's email maybe some special discounts uh coming through your email on a newsletter uh for diehard anglers members you know i'm, I'm gonna push as hard as i can to get the best deals for you guys and i know you guys are pushing as hard as you can to get all of our social media numbers youtube TikTok, facebook and Instagram numbers up there. Speaking of that, the more people that you have, the more chances you, you know, the more you can get monetized on a lot of these platforms. So share us out everywhere. We're trying to do something good. We're not a charity or 4013C or whatever uh, type of company. We didn't want to go that route for the red tape, but you know, anything that you all do to help progress diehard anglers is deeply appreciated. We can get those numbers up. We can start bringing some money in that way. Won't cost me as much. You know, if you pick up a piece of merch here or there, every little bit helps. Really appreciate uh, everybody wanting to give back to us because of us wanting to give back and do something significant to change the fishing industry. Update on the development side. They had some plugins we purchased and got stuck glitches of it not wanting to work on our news feeds, different things. So they've reached out to the uh, company that made the plugins for assistance. They're supposed to be working back and forth with them to try to get the plugins to work better with the news feed. Uh, that's, that's the update on that. We started with the logo January of 2022. So I told the guy in December, hey, January, I'm going to file the LLC. Let's get started on the logo it worked on that for a month probably back and forth plus laying out the platform design of how i wanted things they built a mock-up site showing the news feeds showing the events page uh, it wasn't operational but everything looked stellar i mean it, it, it looked great um so i know when we finally do reach the finish line and get a beta version done that it's it's gonna look awesome uh, it's just really uh, by my patience, I guess I'm having to learn, you know, that this development stuff and whole entire social media functioning the way that I want it to function is taking a lot longer. You know, they have thought that they had things ready to go a long time ago and ended up having a problem. Um, sounds like my washing machine's getting ready to jump through the wall. Hold on. Okay, so the washing machine was jumping all over the place. It's been doing that like crazy lately. I'm trying some stuff to fix it. But anyway, I appreciate everybody's support. Appreciate everything you all do. Sharing us out. If you can help us get higher numbers on social media so that we can offer you all the opportunity to make commission. We can get it up and going. It would help us survive uh, easier. And we sure appreciate it and we can get monetized on these other platforms that'll make a huge difference that'll be some kind of income that will come in for us and then the larger we get and the more people that we get when we all get on our own platform we can all share and like each other's stuff on youtube instagram TikTok, and facebook every bit of that and help each other get to those monetization numbers quicker so in case you missed that part and you're new here that's a lot uh, of what Die Hard Angles is going to be doing. We're going to be doing so much. It's forever. If you haven't watched the big picture video on our profile, go check it out. That'll tell you everything that we're going to be doing. And if you all know of any sponsors that are wanting to get involved with Die Hard Anglers to help us with the expense, uh, I am willing to do some content creation uh, for companies also. Uh, I do go fishing and I just don't always film all of it, but uh, that's something that definitely we can talk about. I can do bait reviews, whatever, or if they want to get involved in the giveaway, they don't have to even send product or as much product 
and can you know pay us something monthly and we'll give them a shout out along with the rest of our sponsors when we do our monthly giveaway so and on top of that oh my god this washing machine is killing me